It's been a big year for layoffs, especially in technology. According to the Crunchbase layoff tra tracker, there have been over 52,000 layoffs this year, 15% of those happening just last week, targeting those especially who work remotely. The layoffs come from companies like Twitter, Carvana, Robinhood, Stripe, and Lyft, with Facebook parent Meta expected to report even more layoffs this week. So should you return to the office to protect your job? Joining us right now is Jason Greer, Greer Consulting's president. And Jason, we know anecdotally these numbers are, are really starting to add up. But what, what, what does the overall picture look like, like right now? The, the overall picture does not look good for remote workers. Let's be real. And I'm going to say this to remote workers right now. Five, six months ago, I was on the show talking about how this was the year of the employee. And now that pendulum has swung to it being the year of the executive. And executives are doing the math. They're looking at all the real estate they're spending money on, and more importantly, they're seeing that a recession is coming. And unfortunately, it's remote workers that might potentially be at the forefront of being the first to be laid off. You know, we, we talked about this for months and months, if not years, during the pandemic, that things were right. different, that this was going to be an evolution, that remote work was going to be the way of the future. Was that just another kind of swing of the pendulum where workers had all the rights and had all, because it was just a worker's market and now it's swung back? A hundred percent. And it all comes down to dollars and cents. Look, during the pandemic, for the most part, everybody was working from home. Then that pendulum swung. And now people are coming out of the pandemic. They're working. Actually, corporations are forcing their people to come back to the office. And I think it's an element of workers want all of the benefits, all of the things that come with working at home. But the reality is that work takes place in the office. And that's what we're seeing. Are there... Exam I mean, are there exceptions to the rule? Are there people, because they are superstar performers, who are going to be allowed to continue to work at home and, and they should rest a little lightly on this? 100%. I talk to executives all year long, and I will tell you, I've been behind the closed doors where people talk in terms of who are superstars versus who are people who we can let go. It's unfortunate. But generally speaking, if you happen to be a superstar talent, your employer knows it, and they're going to give you some leeway. But at the same time, you've got to be prepared for the fact that there are superstar talents that are coming out of graduate school every single day. So it's one of those things that, that you be careful. You know that you're a talent, but also be careful about the fact that your employer is always looking for somebody else. So what do you tell remote workers? Here's what I'm going to tell you. You enjoy working from home. The benefits are great. But please understand that a recession is here. Five, six months ago, I wouldn't have been saying this to you, but now I'm saying this to you directly. The sea tides have changed. The recession is here. And if you are scared that potentially you're going to be laid off, get back into the office. Protect yourself. Get to know your manager because proximity bias is a real thing. And managers tend to protect those people that they know, see, and more importantly, they know their favorite football team. Hmm. What do you um, look around? Is this more than just technology at this point? Is this a broader shift for the, for the workplace overall? I'm seeing this happening in multiple industries, and the recession is real. It's not just a tech thing. You know, tech tends to get more of the media, but I'm seeing this happening in manufacturing. I'm seeing it happening in healthcare, where employers were already at a point, you know, during the pandemic, they made the concession that we need to do remote work, but it's not something that they really want to do. Now that the recession is here, it's a very good opportunity for employers to start pulling people back to the office. And the reality is that a lot of employees don't want to come back to the office. But they, unfortunately, are making themselves incredibly easy targets. Do you think that, that um, the sentiment has changed, though? I mean, I, I see it around me. I, people who maybe wanted to stay home a few months ago aren't so vocal about it anymore. I think the sentiment's changed to an extent, but it depends on, really, it breaks down in terms of generations. Because when mm -hmm. you look at the millennials and Gen Z, for the most part, you know, it's a mixed bag. So there are some millennials and Gen Z that say, I want to go to the office because I want my manager to see what I can do because I'm going to progress in the company. Then you have the other side of that that are saying, well, if I can do everything from home, why would I come in? But what I'm seeing amongst people of my age demographic, I'm 48 years old, is they weren't really comfortable with doing remote work in the first place. Mm -hmm. So they want to come back to the office. They want to come back to some semblance of normalcy. And also they get tired of their kids being behind them every single day that they're on a Zoom call. Yeah, probably matters what the boss says a little more right now, too. Jason, 100%. thank you. Jason, hey, thanks for having me. Thank you.